G'day, um, it's been a few weeks now since I did a virus update blog. It's uh, 26th of May, and to be really honest, there's not a lot happening here in Cordo Heights. So Lynn and I pretty much um, distance ourselves as we're expected to do, uh, stay away from uh, groups of people. Pretty much we only go out to get shopping supplies as needed and we do our normal walk around Cordow Heights, which is uh, mainly for exercise and to keep fit for when we're able to go overseas next. Um, about two weeks ago, I woke up one morning with the sniffles. So I contacted the local GP and I went down and got tested um, for coronavirus and it was negative. Uh, I really didn't think I had coronavirus, but we are asked to just make sure and, and they want lots of people to get tested. So um, from what we can understand, there isn't much in the way of um, the virus around. Uh, there can't be too many people um, infected with the virus uh, in Australia. Um, certainly um, the, the number of cases uh, is well below the, the cutoff uh, that they were hoping. So lots of places are opening up um, the schools went back yesterday, today's a Tuesday. Um, schools went back, although I've noticed two schools in the Sydney area have both had a case of a positive, um, st uh, student testing positive for coronavirus. So I guess it'll be just to and fro like that. Um, overseas, we're hearing um, countries like Spain are opening up the, or want to open up for tourism. Um, they've still got way more cases and having way more deaths than than we were ever like in Australia, but um, there you go. They seem to think they're over the worst. Um, I'm guessing countries will pick and choose who they want to let in. Um, and, I'm, and I guess that makes sense. So we've pretty much been um, doing bits and pieces around home. We're replacing the front decking. Lynn's working on her craft projects. Um, and that's pretty much where we are. So not a lot to see. Um, Yep, that's about us from from the blog and we'll update you if anything exciting happens. Okay, stay safe.